Alright guys, and welcome to another Pilot to Sim tutorial. Um, this one's going to be for Microsoft Flight Simulator, and this is pretty much how to get your flight plans uh, into the PMDG uh, 737. In this case, I've got the 737-800. Um, it's actually how to get the flight plans in here. Easy. Um, this is the easy method. There are other methods, like you can put the flight plan in manually and whatnot, but this is going to be one of the easy methods. So to get you started, we want to... What we want to do is... Um, first of all, we want to go to... going to go to Google and I'll chuck these links in the description. Um, you want to search SimBrief Downloader. Once you find that, it's going to be the first, um, pretty much the first thing that pops up and you're going to go ahead and click on FMS Downloader. Once you've clicked on FMS Downloader, it's going to bring you to this page here and you're going to want to select whichever um, operating system you're running and go ahead and download that run through the simple steps to get it set up um, this is by, by Navigraph it's, it's, a, it's a SimBrief downloader essentially it um, downloads your flight plans from SimBrief into the uh, FMC so after you've done this um, you can go in and click on dispatch and go my flight plan and that'll bring you to this page here now um, just for argument's sake here I've, I've got all this filled out um, already so you just go ahead and fill out fill this out to the best of your ability you do need the aircraft type um, the origin the destination and I think you may need to do an airline and a flight number, but um, for argument's sake, it's like I said, it's already done. Um, so usually what you would do, the long and winded way, you'd come down here to PMDG flight plan and download it. Um, and then you'll have to find the file every single time to drag that flight plan into just to load it in the FMC. But with the SimBrief downloader, you can actually, um, I'll show you guys how to use that. You can actually have it preloaded in there, ready to go. So the last flight plan I created was Sydney to Melbourne. Um, now, if I go and pull up the FMS downloader here, uh, or sorry, the... Um, the SimBrief downloader. So when you first open this, you're going to have to set it up. So you want to go down to PMDG flight plan and you're going to find the directory for the flight plans in the aircraft that you're looking to do it for. So there's like this uh, SimBrief downloader supports all of these aircraft listed. And for me, Mine's brought from Microsoft directly, um, not through Steam. So for me, it's going to be users, the username on the computer, app data, local, packages, Microsoft Flight Simulator with a whole heap of uh, letters and numbers at the end of it there. Then it's going to be local state, packages, PMDG Aircraft 738, work, and then flight plans. So once you've actually found... Uh, the file location of where, like where the actual um, flight plans go in the aircraft, um, then this thing, every time you create a flight plan in SimBrief, it's going to load your latest flight plan every time you open it. So there's my latest flight plan up there. And to view which one you're going to be downloading to the aircraft, it'll pop up here. That's the IKO for your route. So you pretty much just want to click on this little blue thing here. And I've already got it, so I'm just going to click yes. And then close. And that's it. It's going to be in the aircraft now. 
So once you're in the aircraft, you want to go to um, you want to go to here RTE route, and in co route, you want to type in the ICAO of your departure and ICAO of your destination, with no spaces in between. So for me, it's going to be YSSY being Sydney, and YMML being Melbourne, no spaces, and just pop that in there. Now, it's going to bring up um, some dotted lines and whatnot, but if you go flight plan request, and then you'll select which, um, this is the actual, that's the right flight plan, so I'm going to select it. Um, after this white box disappears, we're going to push request. And then wait a few minutes. Now it's going to say route uplink ready and a button here to select load. So you want to select load. It'll say route uplink loading. Once again, you may be waiting a few minutes. All right, now um, it'll come and say route data uplink and now there's an activate button there. So that's going to be the same flight plan. Sydney, Melbourne, activate and execute. Now you have in your FMC, you've got um, a perfectly functioning route from Sydney to Melbourne. Now, to just, just to tie up loose ends, so usually you'll go to departures and arrivals, departure, you'll select a departure, select a runway that you're departing from, go back to departures and arrivals, go to arrival or Melbourne, select a star and an approach or runway. Um, once that's done, you'll go to your legs page and check to make sure you have no route discontinuities. So in here, there's nothing at the moment, no route discontinuities. This plan will literally take us from Sydney via these waypoints direct to Melbourne. So if I was to select, for instance, um, if I select the Sydney 2 departure, um, which flies over Sydney Harbour, and I'd probably do it off uh, runway 34 left. Now that will, um, and then hit execute, that will tie that departure in to the flight plan. But um, we'll go in here again. You always come in here and check because it's here, whenever it says vector or route discontinuity, Vector is fine if you have um, ATC, but if you don't have ATC, then you need to get rid of that. So you just select the one that's underneath it, and then click it onto the onto the. Um, uh, in that case, it was a it's a like it's it's pretty much just a given um, direction that ATC will usually get you to fly in to route uh, to match back up with your route. Um, once that's done, you just push execute. Once again, we'll go through here and have a look. No discontinuities. That's all fine. Um, so now, there we go. I've added a de departure to the plan. If we go in here to arrivals, um, I'm not sure of the arrivals down there, but I would usually um, pick something that seems easy or an ILS or get the current um, weather data and whatnot from the airport and that usually tells you which runway is active when you're going to be getting there. So I'm just going to, for the sake of things, um, it's ILS 1.6. We'll do uh, Boys 7 Alpha for 1.6 and then Execute. And then we want to go to legs. 
and check it. So here we've got a route discontinuity. Um, so where these empty boxes are, you want to select the waypoint underneath it and then select up. Once that's in there, push execute. Um, and just have a look through there. So previous page and next page will get you through um, the, the, the legs. So you pretty much just want to have a look. Make sure there's nothing that's going to hold you up. And that's it. You've pretty much got a flight plan from Sydney, doing a departure, um, getting to Melbourne, doing a star or um, standard arrival, and it takes you directly to the runway. Um, if you're still wanting to use VNAV in this aircraft, after that you'd go ahead and fill out the performance page. Um, so you'd fill all this stuff out here off your flight plan from Simbrief. Um, and that's pretty much it, guys. That is how you go about loading, like the easy way of loading uh, your flight plans into here. So you don't have to find the fold every single time. You literally just go into the downloader, into the Simbrief downloader. You'll click that little down arrow on your, on your uh, flight plan that you're wishing to put in the FMC. And that's it. It, it. It's in there, ready to load. Um, that's pretty much it, guys. So just, um, if you like the video, give it a like. And if you want to see more, subscribe to the channel. And click the little bell icon there if you uh, want to get notified next time I upload. Thank you very much.